Hi guys, my name is Steph and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And today's class we're going to be doing a yin style class. So these are typically poses and postures that are held passively for a longer period of time. And the purpose is to move into that parasympathetic dominance. So also known as the rest and restore, um, feed and breed state. And the purpose is so that you can feel well-rested, replenished, it can help you improve sleep and just better train you to shut off. So if you're someone that has any anxiety or you have a monkey mind or you're suffering from a little bit of insomnia even or kind of creative blocks as well, this class will really help you to move down wind, to shut off moving out of the head and into the body. So the only thing you need to do is be willing to have the patience to follow my guiding, use the breath so that you can start to strengthen your ability to switch off. So it's something that does require practice, patience. Um, so yeah, and you're not gonna need anything props wise for this class. It's not gonna be a long class, um, but it'll just hit the spot. So I'll see you guys on the mat in a second. Um, so let's just begin just for a few moments in a upright seated position. Um, so it's best to just be, if you can be cross-legged, you can sit against a wall if you're new to kind of sitting like this and it doesn't feel great, or you can sit up on a blanket, a pillow, anything like that. So um, you want to be comfortable. So the idea is to adapt the posture so that you can feel a bit and rest a bit more passively in your body. In time, you'll be able to sit up in an upright position, but it just takes practice. And so wherever you are, just find that seat that's comfortable for you. And we'll start by noticing kind of what's going on. So what did you come in with? Any mental, emotional states? Any physical aches and pains? And just as an observation, just as a check-in, There's no right, no wrong. And then we'll start to soften through the body. So we'll just release the hinge of the jaw, dropping the tongue off the roof of the mouth. The shoulders soften just about 2%. The hips naturally release any gripping. And then we'll start to breathe down into the belly. So breathe into the deep diaphragm, so the low belly. And then expanding into the fullness of the breath, the front, back, and sides. And then start to release, exhale the same way. So tracing the breath in through the nostrils, feeling it onto the back of the throat, down into the belly the ribs, the lungs, soften to exhale. So just do that a couple more times. And we can sometimes think about the mind like a tea kettle, a bubbling water. So there's a lot going on and it's really hard sometimes to see clearly, to see things clearly. But in time, then they Water can start to come into stillness. Things slow down and eventually we can see clarity down to the bottom. What lies beneath. Things start to move a little bit slower. You can see a little bit clearer. And things start to feel a bit more at ease. So this often is how our mind works. So when we have a lot going on and we don't take these times to pause, we can feel overwhelmed and things don't really feel as clear. So we can use these practices to just start to still the mind so that we can come back into what is now. moment to moment, breath by breath. 
And that's where your true power lies, to be able to create, to be able to feel. It all starts with stillness. And gently wiggle the fingers, the toes, waking up the body. Let's roll the shoulder blades back and then roll them forward. And we're gonna roll right away on to our bellies. Yay. <laughs> So just release yourself right down and with arm positioning, you can stack one hand on top of the other and rest the forehead on top of the hands. Other option is you can just lay the arms in cactus, release one cheek down to the ground. So choosing if you have a cheek on the ground, I'll let you know when to switch sides. And then we'll start to shift the breath down into the belly. So feeling the belly expand against the mat. Breathe in, expand, and exhale, soften. So from where we are in this present moment, in this stillness, just for a second we're going to envision that there is no past. The past does not exist. And where we are right now is kind of the birthplace where anything is possible. So in this exact moment, how do you feel? Who are you now? Knowing that you have the opportunity to decide, to choose, to create. The future doesn't yet exist and anything is possible. Breathe down into the belly. Breathe in expansion. And exhale, soften, surrender, let go. And follow those cueings, follow the breath and the physical release throughout your body. For the next three to five breaths, don't count, just breathe. You can allow the mind to wander a little bit with a little more awareness where the mind naturally goes. And if you have one cheek on the ground, just switch sides. And slowly, slowly, we'll move into the next posture. So we're going to bring the right hand out like a stop sign, so cactus arms. The left fingertips are going to go onto the ground, kind of like teepeeing the fingertips, you won't be able to see it. And then start to bend at the left knee, so the left foot into the glute, and roll over onto the right side. So rolling over onto the pec, you should feel a stretch through the right side of the chest, down the arm. And if there's any numbness that you feel, just kind of ease off of it. And don't force, just breathe into the area. You can pulse a little bit. Kind of just coaxing into this position. being slow and mindful and then rolling on to the belly take one breath to reset notice any differences between the right and the left side any energy pings down the arm maybe it feels a little bit more vibrant open 
and then switch sides. So right fingertips into the teepees, left hand, arm, and cactus bending at the right knee. And then we'll roll over onto the left side. A few breaths here, being soft with yourself. So keep breathing so that we can remain in that nervous system sedation, that down winded state. Soften on the exhale. And then rolling onto the belly. Bringing both hands, fingertips into the teepees, elbows towards the ceiling. So the shoulder blades are kind of retracting or squeezing together onto the back body. Not overly squeezing, just you feel it. <laughs> And then pressing the tops of the feet gently into the ground. Pubic bone presses into the earth as well and start to coil up at the spine. So starting to lift the chest, lift the gaze a little bit and exhale to roll back down. You don't have to go high. We're gonna do this two more times. Breathe in, rolling up. Exhale, roll down. One more, breathe in, warming up into the spine, and exhale, softening down. Bring the hands down to the low ribs, tuck the toes, press gently into the ground to lift yourself up into all fours, and then bringing the knees mat distance apart will sink the hips back into the child's pose. So walking the hands forward, Forehead rests on to the mat if it's able to. As always, if you're tight, just prop yourself up either behind the knees or underneath the forehead. And we'll be here from five to seven breaths around. So again, breath, body, soften. Breath, body, soften. Where are you now? And anything is possible. Slowly shifting forward, forearms onto the ground, walking the legs out long into Sphinx pose. So just like the Sphinxes, same thing, pressing into the elbows, gently draw them back to lengthen through the spine. And then we'll take the right knee out to the right side, so into kind of a half, I call this Franks, so it's half frog and sphinx pose combined. Made up, but it's still great. And start to soften the pelvis down, so soften the right side, notice any natural clenching, gripping that happens and then we'll move back down into the softening. So from here, you have the option if you wanna add in a arm relaxation and a stretch. So you can take the right arm and thread it underneath the left, releasing onto the right shoulder. So getting into the backside of the arm and then extend the left arm forward, release the forehead down. So that is one option if that feels good for you and you're able to fully relax. Otherwise, you can also release yourself fully onto the ground. So choose the pose that's most nurturing for you. You can switch halfway through. And again, we'll take five to seven breaths. So soften the body, soften the breath.
Who are you now? Without your past restricting you, holding you back, and seeing clearly into creation of anything is possible. And slowly, slowly, moving like a slug, start to lift yourself into the sphinx, straightening the right leg back. Take one breath in center, breathe in. And then exhale, switching sides, left knee comes up to the side and taking one breath to soften the pelvis, to adjust to the side. And then moving into whichever variation you choose. So you can take the left arm, thread it underneath the right if that feels good. You can try things on, you're by yourself, it doesn't matter. Or lay out flat. And then five to seven breaths. Taking just two more breaths. And slowly pressing back up on into the Sphinx pose. Now listen very carefully. We're gonna straighten out the left arm just enough so we can take the right hand and thread it underneath the left arm. We'll drop the right shoulder onto the ground and we'll release opening up into the twist. Okay, so if you follow that, good job. And if not, the left leg is across the body and we're on our backs in a twist. <laughs> So once you're here, start to soften the shoulders. So it's okay if the leg is floating. Try to keep both shoulders onto the ground so that they can fully soften. And yeah, if the leg is just kind of wherever it is, you can prop it up with a prop or just have it wherever. The pose doesn't have to look like anything in this. It's more just about being able to release your physical body, release the hinge of the jaw. Even gently purse the lips a little bit, pretending that there's sandbags on the body, just weighting it down. I'm just about 2% more. And then rolling on to your back, you can adjust yourself on the mat if you've fallen off. 
and then we'll take the right knee into the chest and bring it over to the left side for the supine twist on the opposite side. So just softening the muscles across the face, across the chest and down the arms. The breath is natural, soft. We're not forcing anything. The hips relax. And just allow the belly to be a belly. Expanding and softening. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And then rolling over onto your back body. Legs extended long, arms down by the sides or overhead, wherever is comfortable. In this posture, Savasana, just allow yourself to be so you can allow the mind to wander a little bit, any downloads to come through, any learnings. Discoveries. Breathe and let go. Stay as long as you'd like. Other ways, take a smooth breath in through the nose, starting to let awareness flood down the arms and down the legs. Exhale, soften. Next breath, same thing. This time, maybe wiggling the fingers and the toes. And exhale, soften. We'll do one round of the physiological breath, so I'll explain it and then I'll walk you through it. So we'll exhale fully, breathe in through the nose, pause at the top of the breath, and then take an extra sharp inhale, and then exhale fully, nose or mouth, okay? So exhale all together, breathe in full, pause, extra sharp inhale, pause, Exhale. And then rolling over onto one side into fetal position. And then taking one pause there. And then rolling yourself up into a gentle seat. Feel the sit bones grounded. Just notice maybe the state, how you feel. Probably a little bit sleepy, rested, groggy. And circling back to our intention. Where are you now? Without any past restraints knowing that anything is possible for creation as long as you come back to yourself here and now I'm bringing the hands to heart center thank you guys so much for practicing i really hope that you feel rested and that you've really benefited from uh, this style of practice it's typically the most underrated but the most beneficial i would say um, if you like this class, please remember to give it a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below anything that you'd like, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. 
and I will see you guys soon. Have a lovely day or evening.